avoid these seven ultra processed foods for better heart health do you ever feel warning signs from your heart like chest pain or palpitations and wonder if your diet could be to blame are you consuming ultra processed foods without even realizing it potentially putting your heart health at risk the dangers of heart disease cannot be overstated it's a leading cause of death worldwide claiming millions of lives each year in the united states alone Approximately 655,000 Americans succumb to heart-related issues annually, with many cases directly linked to poor dietary choices, including the consumption of ultra-processed foods. Failure to recognize the warning signs and take proactive measures to safeguard your heart could have dire consequences. But fret not! In today's video, we're here to shed light on the ultra-processed foods that could be silently sabotaging your heart health. In a world filled with a plethora of food options, making the right choices for your heart health can seem daunting. However, I'm here to guide you through it, offering tips and insights to avoid harmful foods, ensuring your heart remains strong and resilient. So, stay tuned as we unveil the top 7 ultra-processed foods to steer clear of for better heart health. Don't forget to share this information with your loved ones to protect heart health together. Now, let's embark on our journey with number 1. 1. Macaroni and Cheese Macaroni and cheese, often indulged in for its creamy texture and savory taste, can have a detrimental impact on heart health due to its high saturated fat and sodium content. Saturated fats can raise levels of LDL cholesterol, increasing the risk of heart disease, while excess sodium can contribute to high blood pressure, putting strain on the heart. For example, a typical serving of macaroni and cheese, one cup, can contain around 13 grams of saturated fat and 600 milligrams of sodium. Moreover, the high calorie content of macaroni and cheese can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are risk factors for heart disease. To make macaroni and cheese healthier for heart health, consider using whole grain pasta instead of refined pasta to increase fiber content and slow down the absorption of carbohydrates. Cook the pasta according to the package instructions until it's al dente. While the pasta is cooking, prepare a cheese sauce using reduced fat cheese or a combination of reduced fat cheese and a small amount of full fat cheese for flavor. Aim for about 50 to 75 grams of cheese per serving, depending on your preference. After draining the cooked pasta, mix it with the cheese sauce until well combined. You can also add in some steamed vegetables like broccoli or spinach to boost the nutritional value of the dish. Moving to the next topic. How can the consumption of a type of ultra-processed foods, known for its convenience but often containing hidden sources of unhealthy fats and sodium, impact heart health? 2. Frozen Pizza Frozen pizza, while convenient, can pose risks to heart health due to its high levels of saturated fats, sodium, and refined carbohydrates. These fats are known to increase LDL cholesterol levels in the blood, leading to the formation of plaque in the arteries, a condition called atherosclerosis. Additionally, frozen pizzas often contain high levels of sodium, which can increase blood pressure and strain the heart. For example, a typical frozen pizza serving, one slice, may contain around 5 to 7 grams of saturated fat and 0.5 to 1 gram of trans fat, along with 500 to 800 milligrams of sodium. Moreover, the refined carbohydrates in the pizza crust can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels, promoting inflammation and increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. One specific tip to turn frozen pizza into a heart-healthier option is to add plenty of fresh vegetables and lean protein. Start by choosing a whole wheat or multigrain crust if available, as it provides more fiber and nutrients compared to a traditional white crust, 100 to 150 calories slash serving. Next, load up your pizza with colorful vegetables like bell peppers, spinach, tomatoes, onions, and mushrooms, 25 to 50 calories slash cup. Additionally, consider adding some lean protein such as grilled chicken breast, turkey sausage, or tofu for extra satiety and to balance out the meal, 120 to 150 calories slash 4 oz. For instance, use low-fat mozzarella, 80 to 100 calories slash 1 slash 2 cup. These adjustments create a nutritious pizza supporting heart health. Transitioning to the next one, how do packaged sandwiches, often viewed as a convenient meal option, impact heart health, considering their unique composition and ingredients? 3. Packaged Sandwiches Despite their convenience, 
packaged sandwiches may present hazards to cardiovascular well-being because of their elevated levels of sodium and saturated fats. For instance, a typical packaged sandwich may contain processed meats like salami or ham, which are high in sodium, contributing to hypertension and negatively affecting blood flow to the heart. Additionally, the refined carbohydrates in the bread can lead to elevated blood sugar levels, further straining cardiovascular health. Many people are unaware of the additives and preservatives used in these sandwiches to prolong shelf life, such as monosodium glutamate, MSG, and trans fats, which can raise cholesterol levels and contribute to arterial plaque buildup. For example, a single packaged sandwich may contain over 1,000 mg of sodium, exceeding the recommended intake. Transforming packaged sandwiches into heart-healthy options involves simple swaps. Opt for whole grain bread with 3 plus grams of fiber per serving. Replace high-fat condiments like mayo with mashed avocado or hummus for creamy texture and healthy fats. Load up on leafy greens for added fiber and vitamins. Choose lean proteins like grilled chicken or tofu to boost satiety without excess fat. Aim for at least two servings of veggies per sandwich and keep added fats under 10 grams. These small changes make a big difference, turning ordinary sandwiches into delicious and nutritious choices that support heart health. Next up, have you considered the impact of sugary treats like chocolate chip cookies on heart health? 4. Chocolate Chip Cookies One of the most surprising scientific reasons behind how chocolate chip cookies can hinder blood flow in the heart and harm heart health lies in their high trans fat content. While many might associate trans fats with fried foods or margarine, it's lesser known that commercial baked goods, including these cookies, often contain them. Trans fats raise LDL cholesterol levels, contributing to arterial plaque buildup and ultimately impeding blood flow. For instance, a typical serving of chocolate chip cookies can contain up to 2 grams of trans fats, exceeding the recommended daily intake. One specific tip to make chocolate chip cookies heart healthier that fewer people may know is by incorporating whole wheat flour and reducing the amount of sugar and saturated fats. Swap out half of the all-purpose flour with whole wheat flour for added fiber and nutrients. Decrease the sugar content by about 25% or substitute with natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup. Additionally, cut back on butter or oil by using unsweetened applesauce or mashed bananas as a replacement. Aim for around a quarter cup less fat than the original recipe calls for. Next up, transitioning to our discussion on improving heart health, did you know that reducing sugary beverages intake can have a significant impact on cardiovascular wellness? Five. Soda. Soda, often overlooked as a contributor to heart issues, contains high levels of added sugars and artificial sweeteners, leading to adverse effects on blood flow and heart health. Specifically, the high fructose corn syrup found in many sodas can significantly hinder blood flow in the heart, increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. For instance, a standard 12-ounce can of soda contains approximately 39 grams of sugar, exceeding the recommended daily limit. This excessive sugar intake prompts insulin resistance and inflammation, further exacerbating heart health issues. Moreover, the phosphoric acid present in many sodas can interfere with calcium absorption, potentially weakening bones and heart muscles over time. One lesser-known way to transform soda into a heart-healthier option is by infusing it with fresh herbs and fruits. Start by pouring a can of soda into a pitcher. Add slices of citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and limes along with a handful of crushed mint leaves. Let the mixture sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour to allow the flavors to meld. When serving, add ice cubes to a glass and pour the infused soda over them. This concoction not only reduces the amount of soda consumed but also adds beneficial antioxidants from the fruits and herbs. Aim for about 50 grams of fruit and herbs per 12-ounce serving. Transitioning to the next topic, let's delve into broader dietary patterns and their effects on heart health, steering away from specific items like the classic American favorite. 6. Cheeseburgers Cheeseburgers, though beloved by many, harbor a lesser-known scientific peril to heart health. The key culprit lies in their high saturated fat content, notably from the beef patty and cheese. A standard cheeseburger can contain up to 13 grams of saturated fat, nearly two-thirds of the recommended daily limit. This excess intake can lead to elevated LDL cholesterol levels, 
hindering blood flow in the heart and increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. One specific tip to make cheeseburgers heart healthier that fewer people may know is to opt for lean ground beef or turkey instead of higher fat options. Start by choosing lean ground beef with a lower fat content, ideally around 90 tenths lean to fat ratio. Alternatively, turkey with a similar fat content can be used. Additionally, consider using whole wheat buns for extra fiber and nutrients. When it comes to cheese, opt for reduced fat varieties or use a smaller amount to cut down on saturated fat. Load up on fresh vegetables like lettuce, tomatoes, and onions for added vitamins and minerals and portion control by keeping the patty size to around 4 ounces or roughly 113 grams. Finally, grill or bake the patties instead of frying to reduce additional fat. Last but not least, what lesser-known risks might bacon pose to heart health, considering its high sodium and nitrate content? 7. Bacon Bacon, often celebrated for its savory taste, harbors a lesser-known scientific peril. Specifically, it can hinder blood flow in the heart and harm heart health due to its high saturated fat content. A single slice of bacon, about 12 grams, contains approximately 3.3 grams of saturated fat, which is around 16% of the recommended daily limit for an average adult. This high saturated fat intake from bacon can contribute to arterial plaque buildup, narrowing blood vessels and impeding blood flow, thus increasing the risk of heart disease. One lesser-known way to prepare bacon in a heart-healthier manner is by baking it in the oven rather than frying. Here's a specific tip. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit 200 degrees Celsius. Place bacon strips on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper to catch excess grease. Bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until crisp, flipping halfway through. This method allows some of the fat to drip away, resulting in a slightly leaner finished product. Additionally, Opting for leaner cuts of bacon or turkey bacon can further reduce saturated fat intake. Aim for a serving size of around 2 to 3 slices, roughly 30 to 45 grams, to moderate consumption. If you found this video insightful and helpful, make sure to spread the word among your loved ones to collectively safeguard heart health. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more valuable content like this in the future. Have you come across any other snacks that might pose risks to heart health? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll explore them further in upcoming videos. In conclusion, disregarding the dangers associated with these seven ultra-processed foods might appear trivial, especially in regions where they're not commonly consumed, such as the United States. However, it's crucial to recognize that awareness of potential risks transcends borders. In our interconnected world, people may encounter a wide array of snacks and ingredients from different parts of the globe. Ultimately, knowledge acts as a shield against unforeseen hazards. Together, let's prioritize our cardiovascular well-being. The list of 10 worst processed foods you won't want to eat again after watching. Have you ever experienced recurrent sharp pains in your abdomen? Do you often feel inexplicably tired, perhaps even nauseous, followed by coughing, fever, and a myriad of other symptoms? I know you might occasionally indulge in unhealthy foods just because they taste good. But if your body doesn't raise alarm bells, then who will? If so, chances are you're one of the millions worldwide facing similar health issues like you. According to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases account for approximately 17.9 million deaths annually, making it the leading cause of death globally. In the previous video, I discussed the harmful foods you should avoid. You can revisit it if needed. It's particularly alarming how profit and industrial interests permit the sale of such detrimental foods. However, demand drives supply, and I can't simply demand they cease production because they undeniably contribute to the economy. But what I can do is provide you with knowledge, specific research so that you have a strong understanding of health. Ultimately, the choice rests with you. So, Whenever you're ready to leave, remember there's still a list of 10 processed foods waiting for you to explore fully. Let's dive right in with hot dogs. 1. Hot dogs. One of the most alarming scientific findings regarding hot dogs, often overlooked, is their high content of nitrites and nitrates. These chemical compounds are used in the curing process to preserve the meat and impart the characteristic pink color. 
However, when consumed, they can form nitrosamines, which are carcinogenic. For example, a single hot dog typically contains around 0.5 to 1.0 mg of nitrites. This unique aspect distinguishes hot dogs from other processed foods, as the formation of nitrosamines during cooking poses a significant health risk. Few people are aware that the high levels of sodium in hot dogs contribute to hypertension and cardiovascular disease. Moreover, the presence of saturated fats and additives like monosodium glutamate, MSG, further exacerbates health concerns. Additionally, hot dogs often contain mechanically separated meat, which involves grinding up leftover animal parts. This information underscores the importance of making informed choices when it comes to processed meats like hot dogs. To mitigate the adverse effects of nitrites and nitrates in hot dogs, consumers can opt for nitrite-free or uncured varieties. Additionally, pairing hot dogs with foods rich in vitamin C, like tomatoes or bell peppers, can inhibit nitrosamine formation. Moreover, grilling hot dogs at lower temperatures and avoiding charring can reduce the production of these harmful compounds. These specific strategies are crucial for minimizing the health risks associated with hot dog consumption. Turning our attention to another breakfast staple known for its vibrant colors and sugary taste, what are the hidden health implications of indulging in these brightly hued morning cereals? 2. Sugary breakfast cereals. Sugary breakfast cereals like Fruit Loops or Cocoa Puffs contain a shocking amount of refined sugar, which is the primary culprit behind their detrimental effects on health. These cereals often boast vibrant colors and enticing flavors, appealing especially to children. However, what many don't realize is that they can contain up to 40% of the recommended daily sugar intake in just one serving. For instance, a typical serving of Fruit Loops contains about 12 grams of sugar per 30 grams, while Cocoa Puffs can have even higher sugar content, with around 14 grams per 27 grams. This excessive sugar consumption can lead to various health issues, including obesity, diabetes, and dental problems. Beyond the staggering sugar content, Sugary breakfast cereals often lack essential nutrients, such as fiber and protein, necessary for a balanced diet. Moreover, many of these cereals contain artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives, which have been linked to hyperactivity and other behavioral issues in children. Despite their cheerful appearance and marketing claims of being fortified with vitamins and minerals, these cereals are primarily empty calories, offering little nutritional value. To mitigate the negative impact of sugary cereals, opt for whole grain alternatives with minimal added sugars. Additionally, encourage mixing cereals with fresh fruits or nuts to increase fiber and protein content while reducing overall sugar intake. Reading nutrition labels and choosing cereals with less than 6 grams of sugar per serving can also help make healthier choices. Now, transitioning to the next topic, carbonated beverages. Did you know that one of the most popular fizzy drinks on the market contains over 39 grams of sugar per 12-ounce serving? 3. Soda One of the most striking scientific reasons behind the detrimental impact on health posed by sodas such as Coca-Cola or Pepsi lies in their exceptionally high sugar content. These beverages are notorious for their staggering levels of added sugars, with a single 12-ounce can of soda containing approximately 39 grams of sugar, equivalent to about 10 teaspoons. This overload of sugar can lead to various health issues, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. What sets soda apart from other foods in this category is its ability to rapidly spike blood sugar levels due to its liquid form, bypassing the body's natural satiety signals, thus promoting overconsumption. Few people are aware that aside from sugar, sodas also contain high levels of phosphoric acid, which can leach calcium from bones over time, contributing to osteoporosis. Furthermore, the caramel coloring used in many sodas contains a compound called formethylamidazole, for miles, which has been linked to cancer in animal studies. Moving on to packaged cookies, one might wonder, how do these sweet treats impact our health beyond just their tempting taste and convenience? 4. Packaged Cookies One of the most alarming scientific aspects of packaged cookies like Oreos or Chips Ahoy lies in their high trans fat content. These cookies often contain partially hydrogenated oils, a primary source of trans fats. Trans fats are notorious for raising bad cholesterol, LDL, levels while lowering good cholesterol, HDL, significantly increasing the risk of heart disease. 
For instance, a serving of Oreos, about 3 cookies, contains approximately 2 grams of trans fats. This distinctive feature sets them apart from other foods in this category, as few items contain such alarming levels of trans fats. Beyond trans fats, packaged cookies also harbor high levels of refined sugars and artificial additives. These ingredients contribute to inflammation, insulin resistance, and weight gain over time. Surprisingly, many consumers are unaware that a single serving of Chips Ahoy, about 3 cookies, contains around 11 grams of sugar, equivalent to nearly 3 teaspoons. Additionally, these cookies often contain artificial flavors and preservatives, which can have adverse effects on overall health. To minimize the negative impact of packaged cookies on health, consider opting for healthier alternatives or homemade versions using natural sweeteners and whole ingredients. Additionally, limiting portion sizes and consuming them occasionally rather than regularly can help reduce their detrimental effects. For example, substituting packaged cookies with homemade oatmeal cookies sweetened with honey or maple syrup provides a healthier alternative without sacrificing taste. Moreover, incorporating more whole foods like fruits and nuts into the diet can satisfy cravings for sweets while offering nutritional benefits. Now, let's shift our focus to another processed food item notorious for its hidden health hazards, frozen pizza. Are you aware of the concerning ingredients lurking in your favorite frozen pizza brands? 5. Frozen Pizza One of the most alarming scientific aspects of frozen pizza, such as brands like DiGiorno or Red Baron, is its high sodium content. Many are unaware that a single serving of frozen pizza can contain up to 800 mg of sodium. Excessive sodium intake is linked to hypertension, heart disease, and stroke. What sets frozen pizza apart from other foods in this category is its combination of refined carbohydrates, unhealthy fats, and sodium. These ingredients contribute to weight gain and increase the risk of chronic diseases. What many don't realize is that frozen pizzas often harbor high levels of sodium. A single serving can contain over 700 mg of sodium, nearly one-third of the recommended daily intake. This excessive sodium intake is linked to hypertension, kidney damage, and increased risk of heart disease. To mitigate the health risks of frozen pizza consumption, opt for homemade or healthier store-bought alternatives. Choose pizzas with whole grain crusts, lean protein toppings, and plenty of vegetables to boost nutrition and minimize harmful additives. Now, shifting our focus to another processed food item with its own set of health concerns. 6. Microwave Popcorn Microwave popcorn, like Orville Redenbacher's, contains a chemical known as diacetyl, which is responsible for its buttery flavor. However, diacetyl has been linked to a severe lung condition known as popcorn lung. When inhaled in large quantities, it can cause irreversible damage to the airways. For example, a standard bag of microwave popcorn contains approximately 3.5 grams of saturated fat, contributing to cardiovascular issues when consumed regularly. Additionally, few realize that the steam emitted when opening a bag of microwave popcorn can contain harmful chemicals, including perfluorooctanoic acid, PFOA, which may leach from the bag into the popcorn during heating. To minimize exposure to harmful chemicals in microwave popcorn, opt for air-popped popcorn seasoned with natural herbs or spices. Additionally, consider popping kernels in a brown paper bag in the microwave without added oil or chemicals. This method reduces the intake of unhealthy fats and eliminates exposure to potentially harmful substances found in microwave popcorn bags. Moving on to another processed food item, what are the hidden dangers lurking in the convenient world of instant noodles? 7. Instant noodles Instant noodles, such as ramen, harbor a lesser-known scientific culprit behind their popularity, high sodium content. Surprisingly, a single serving can contain up to 875 mg of sodium, exceeding the daily recommended limit. This excessive sodium intake can lead to hypertension and heart disease over time. What sets instant noodles apart from other processed foods is their convenient packaging, allowing for quick and easy preparation. However, this convenience comes at a cost to health due to the alarming sodium levels. Few are aware that instant noodles contain tertiary butylhydroquine, TBHQ, a preservative linked to adverse health effects, including cellular damage and vision disturbances. Additionally, the manufacturing process involves deep-frying noodles in palm oil, introducing harmful trans fats, 
further contributing to cardiovascular risks. To minimize the detrimental effects of instant noodles, opt for brands with lower sodium content or explore healthier alternatives like whole grain noodles. Adding fresh vegetables and lean protein to your noodle dish can enhance its nutritional value and offset sodium intake. Moreover, consuming instant noodles in moderation and complementing them with a balanced diet and regular exercise can mitigate their negative health impact. Now shifting focus to another processed convenience food, do you ever wonder about the hidden health risks lurking in your pantry staples? 8. Canned Soups One of the most alarming scientific factors present in canned soups, like Campbell's or Progresso, is their exceedingly high sodium content. Many are unaware of the detrimental effects this can have on health. For instance, a single serving of a popular canned soup can contain up to 800 mg of sodium, nearly one-third of the recommended daily intake. This excessive sodium consumption has been linked to high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. What sets canned soups apart from other foods in this category is their convenience coupled with such alarming sodium levels. Additionally, some canned soups contain over 20 grams of fat per serving, contributing to obesity and related health issues. Furthermore, few are aware that these soups often contain additives like monosodium glutamate, MSG, and artificial preservatives, which can lead to adverse health effects. Despite their convenience, these additives have been associated with headaches, nausea, and even allergic reactions in some individuals. In fact, a study found that certain canned soups contain more than 100% of the recommended daily intake of sodium per serving, along with high levels of added sugars and unhealthy fats. To mitigate the negative impact of canned soups on health, consider opting for low-sodium varieties or making homemade soups with fresh ingredients. Additionally, rinsing canned vegetables before adding them to soups can help reduce sodium content. Look for options labeled low-sodium or no-added MSG to make healthier choices. Moreover, aim to limit consumption of canned soups to occasional treats rather than regular meal options to avoid excessive sodium intake. Moving on to another concerning processed food item on the list, sugary granola bars. Did you know that these seemingly healthy snacks can also harbor hidden dangers? 9. Sugary Granola Bars One of the most alarming factors of sugary granola bars, like Nature Valley or Quaker, is their impact on health, largely due to their high sugar content. These seemingly innocent snacks can wreak havoc on one's well-being. For instance, a typical Nature Valley granola bar contains around 12 grams of sugar per serving, which is equivalent to 3 teaspoons. This excess sugar intake can lead to various health issues, including weight gain, diabetes, and heart problems. Few realize that these granola bars often contain high fructose corn syrup, a cheap sweetener linked to obesity and metabolic syndrome. Additionally, they may harbor trans fats, which increase the risk of heart disease. To limit the adverse effects of sugary granola bars, opt for healthier alternatives like homemade versions with oats, nuts, and dried fruits. Read labels carefully, avoiding products with high sugar and trans fat content. It's also advisable to pair these snacks with protein or fiber-rich foods to mitigate blood sugar spikes. Moving on to bottled salad dressings, did you know that some popular brands are laden with unhealthy fats and excessive sodium, posing risks to cardiovascular health? 10. Bottled Salad Dressings One of the most significant scientific reasons behind the alarming health impacts of bottled salad dressings lies in their high trans fat content, a detail often overlooked by consumers. For instance, a typical serving of a popular brand contains approximately 2 grams of trans fat, significantly surpassing the recommended daily limit of 1% of total calories. Unlike other processed foods, bottled dressings are often perceived as healthy alternatives, yet their hidden trans fat levels pose serious health risks, including heart disease and increased cholesterol levels. Lesser-known facts about these dressings include their high sugar content. Many varieties contain around 5 grams of added sugar per serving, contributing to excessive calorie intake and potentially leading to obesity and diabetes. Moreover, certain brands may contain artificial preservatives and colorings, further compromising their nutritional value and safety. To mitigate the adverse effects, consumers can opt for homemade dressings using olive oil, vinegar, and herbs, ensuring minimal trans fat and sugar intake. Additionally, 
carefully reading labels for hidden ingredients like high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils can aid in making healthier choices. Furthermore, limiting portion sizes and using dressing sparingly can help control calorie and sugar consumption, promoting better overall health. If you found the content helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to have the motivation to create valuable content that helps everyone. Did you recognize the foods you often eat? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section below the video. In summary, Turning a blind eye to the detrimental effects of processed foods is akin to gambling with one's health. Ignoring the stark realities illuminated by this expose is to willingly subject oneself to a myriad of health complications, ranging from obesity and heart disease to diabetes and even cancer. Disregarding the warnings inherent in the contents of this investigation is to invite a future plagued by medical bills, suffering, and potentially shortened lifespans. Let it be known that the consequences of disregarding this vital information are not mere conjecture, they are the harsh realities faced by countless individuals who prioritize convenience over well-being. <music> Top 7 Alternatives to Processed Foods for Better Blood Circulation and Heart Health Have you ever experienced occasional chest pains? Do you often feel the telltale signs of poor blood flow in your heart? such as tightness or discomfort, and perhaps even other symptoms that suggest something isn't right? If so, chances are you're among the millions worldwide who are affected by these conditions. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, of the United States reports that approximately 655,000 people die each year from heart disease. In a previous video, I discussed the harmful effects of ultra-processed foods that you should avoid. Feel free to revisit that for more insights. It's worth noting that despite the detrimental effects, these ultra-processed foods continue to flood the market, driven by industrial demands and profit motives. While I cannot advocate for their discontinuation, I can certainly provide you with the knowledge and research needed to make informed decisions about your health. In today's video, we're here to shed light on 7 alternatives to ultra-processed foods that can help safeguard your cardiovascular health. These alternatives may come as a surprise, offering delicious yet nutritious options you may not have considered. So, stick around until the end of this video to ensure you don't miss out on valuable information that could benefit both you and your loved ones. Without further ado, let's delve into the first alternative. 1. Quinoa One of the most remarkable scientific aspects of quinoa, often overlooked as an alternative to ultra-processed foods for better blood circulation in the heart, lies in its unique composition. Quinoa stands out due to its high content of essential nutrients, including protein, fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. For instance, just one cup of cooked quinoa contains approximately 8 grams of protein, making it an excellent source for those looking to boost their protein intake without relying on processed meats. Furthermore, it provides around 5 grams of fiber per cup, aiding in digestion and promoting heart health. Adding to its virtues, quinoa contains high levels of magnesium and potassium, essential minerals known to regulate blood pressure and improve circulation. A single cup of cooked quinoa provides around 118 mg of magnesium and 318 mg of potassium, contributing significantly to heart health. To transform quinoa into a delicious and heart-healthy dish, consider these lesser-known tips. Firstly, rinse the quinoa thoroughly before cooking to remove its natural coating, called saponin, which can impart a bitter taste. Secondly, try cooking quinoa in low-sodium broth instead of water to enhance its flavor. Finally, incorporate heart-healthy ingredients like olive oil, avocado, and leafy greens into quinoa salads or stir-fries to maximize its nutritional benefits. Transitioning to the next topic, have you considered how incorporating leafy green vegetables rich in essential nutrients can contribute to better blood circulation and heart health? 2. Spinach. Do you consume spinach regularly? Spinach stands out as an excellent alternative to ultra-processed foods due to its remarkable scientific composition. Rich in nutrients such as iron, magnesium, and folate, spinach aids in maintaining optimal heart health and promoting better blood circulation. For instance, just one cup of cooked spinach contains approximately 6.4 mg of iron, 157 mg of magnesium, and 262 micrograms of folate. These nutrients play crucial roles in preventing heart diseases and enhancing blood flow, a fact often overlooked by many. 
Additionally, spinach contains high levels of nitrate, a compound linked to improved cardiovascular function by dilating blood vessels, reducing blood pressure, and increasing blood flow to the heart. Beyond its nutritional value, few realize that spinach contains antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin, which contribute to reducing inflammation and preventing oxidative stress in the cardiovascular system. A specific and delightful way to utilize the flavor of spinach is by preparing creamy garlic spinach. You can start by heating a little olive oil in a pan and sautéing finely chopped garlic until fragrant. Then, add washed spinach and toss until it wilts gently. Next, add some heavy cream and a pinch of nutmeg to create a smooth creamy coating over the spinach. Once the cream has melted and the mixture simmers, you can season with salt, pepper, and a little butter to enhance the flavor further. Finally, transfer this spinach dish onto a plate and garnish with some breadcrumbs or grated parmesan cheese for an extra burst of flavor. Next up, have you ever considered the unique properties of fatty fish as a heart-healthy alternative? 3. Salmon Salmon stands out as an exceptional alternative to ultra-processed foods for promoting heart health and enhancing blood circulation in the heart due to its rich composition of omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA. These fatty acids are crucial for reducing inflammation, lowering triglyceride levels, and preventing blood clot formation, all of which are vital for cardiovascular health. For instance, a 3-ounce serving of wild-caught salmon contains approximately 1,200 mg of EPA and DHA combined, surpassing the recommended daily intake for optimal heart health. Furthermore, salmon is a notable source of protein, supplying around 22 grams per serving, contributing to muscle repair and overall well-being. To turn salmon into a delicious and little-known dish, you can try the Salmon Wellington method. First, prepare a rectangular or square pastry sheet, then make a basic filling layer from cream cheese and sautéed onions. Next, place the salmon fillet on top of the filling and roll the pastry into a cylinder shape. Then, coat the outer surface of the pastry with a layer of butter and finely ground toasted sunflower seeds. Finally, bake the pastry in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. This dish is not only delicious but also rich in nutrients, providing benefits for cardiovascular health. Transitioning to another exceptional alternative for better blood circulation in the heart, have you considered incorporating a nutrient-rich fruit known for its creamy texture and high levels of heart-healthy monounsaturated fats? 4. Avocado Do you like avocado? With its unique scientific composition, avocado emerges as an excellent alternative to heavily processed foods, aiding in the improvement of heart health and enhancement of blood circulation. Unlike many other foods, avocados are rich in monounsaturated fats, particularly oleic acid, which helps lower bad cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. Moreover, they contain high levels of potassium, with one medium avocado providing approximately 20% of the recommended daily intake. Potassium plays a crucial role in regulating blood pressure and promoting healthy heart function. Additionally, avocados are packed with fiber, with around 13 grams per avocado, aiding in digestion and maintaining optimal cholesterol levels. Furthermore, avocados contain vitamin E, which helps prevent the oxidation of cholesterol, reducing the risk of artery blockages and improving blood flow to the heart. One little-known way to prepare avocado into a delicious and heart-healthy dish is by creating avocado chocolate mousse. This creamy dessert is made by blending ripe avocados with cocoa powder, a touch of honey or maple syrup, and a splash of vanilla extract. The result is a rich and indulgent treat that's packed with heart-healthy monounsaturated fats and antioxidants, making it a guilt-free delight for both your taste buds and your cardiovascular system. Moving to our next consideration in the realm of alternatives to heavily processed foods for enhancing blood circulation in the heart, have you explored the potential benefits of incorporating vibrant yellow spices known for their anti-inflammatory properties? 5. Turmeric Turmeric, with its active compound curcumin, stands out as a remarkable alternative to ultra-processed foods for promoting heart health and enhancing blood circulation. Curcumin possesses potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which can help combat conditions like atherosclerosis and improve endothelial function. Studies have shown that consuming just one teaspoon of turmeric daily can significantly reduce markers of inflammation such as C-reactive protein by up to 32%. Additionally, 
turmeric contains other heart-healthy components such as potassium, which supports healthy blood pressure levels. A single tablespoon of turmeric powder contains around 170 mg of potassium, contributing to the recommended daily intake of this crucial mineral for heart health. One particularly delightful and heart-healthy way to incorporate turmeric into your diet is by making turmeric-spiced salmon. Begin by marinating fresh salmon fillets in a mixture of turmeric, lemon juice, garlic, and olive oil for at least 30 minutes. Then, simply bake or grill the salmon until it's cooked to perfection. Not only does this dish provide the heart-protective benefits of omega-3 fatty acids from the salmon, but the turmeric marinade adds a vibrant color and aromatic flavor profile. Serve your turmeric-spiced salmon alongside a side of steamed vegetables or a refreshing salad for a complete and nourishing meal that supports cardiovascular health. Moving to another heart-healthy alternative, what dairy product offers a rich source of probiotics and protein, aiding in better blood circulation and cardiovascular health? 6. Greek Yogurt Do you often eat Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt stands out as a remarkable alternative to ultra-processed foods for promoting heart health and enhancing blood circulation. Its uniqueness lies in its rich composition of nutrients, particularly its high-protein content. Compared to regular yogurt, Greek yogurt contains almost double the amount of protein per serving. For instance, a standard 6-ounce serving of Greek yogurt typically provides around 15 to 20 grams of protein, while regular yogurt contains only 9 grams on average. Additionally, Greek yogurt is lower in carbohydrates and sugars, making it a favorable option for those watching their blood sugar levels and overall cardiovascular health. Transforming Greek yogurt into a delightful and heart-healthy treat, consider assembling a Greek yogurt parfait. Begin by layering Greek yogurt with fresh berries, such as strawberries, blueberries, or raspberries, for a burst of antioxidants and natural sweetness. Add a sprinkle of crunchy granola for fiber and texture, and drizzle with a touch of honey or maple syrup, for a hint of sweetness without the excessive sugars often found in processed desserts. Repeat the layers until your parfait glass is filled to your liking. This simple yet delicious creation not only satisfies your sweet cravings but also provides a wholesome dose of nutrients, making it an ideal choice for supporting cardiovascular wellness. Moving on to another heart-healthy option, have you explored incorporating plant-based protein sources, like tofu alongside a colorful array of fresh vegetables to enhance blood circulation and support heart health? 7. Stir-fry with fresh vegetables and tofu. Analyzing the scientific rationale behind stir-fry with fresh vegetables and tofu reveals its standout feature as a viable substitute for ultra-processed foods, contributing significantly to heart health and improved blood circulation in the heart. This dish typically includes colorful vegetables such as bell peppers, broccoli, and carrots, which are packed with heart-healthy nutrients like vitamins A, C, and K, as well as fiber and antioxidants. Additionally, tofu, a staple in stir-fries, provides a healthy plant-based protein source, offering around 10 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. This combination of vegetables and tofu not only helps lower cholesterol levels but also supports overall heart function. To optimize stir-fry with fresh vegetables and tofu for heart health, consider using heart-healthy cooking oils like olive or avocado oil instead of vegetable oil. Try marinating the tofu slices in a blend of low-sodium soy sauce, minced ginger, and crushed garlic for about 30 minutes before cooking. Then, stir-fry the marinated tofu with a mix of colorful vegetables like bell peppers, broccoli, and carrots in heart-healthy olive oil until tender crisp. This method enhances the flavor profile of the dish while minimizing the need for added salt, making it an excellent choice for maintaining cardiovascular health. If you found this video helpful and insightful, LET spread awareness and protect heart health by sharing this knowledge with our loved ones and communities. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more valuable content in the future. Together, we can build a healthier, heart-conscious society. Have you identified any other foods that might pose risks to heart health? Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below, and I'll explore them further. In conclusion, opting for alternatives to ultra-processed foods can significantly benefit heart health and promote better blood circulation. By making conscious choices in our diets, we not only safeguard our own well-being but also contribute to a healthier community. Remember, ignoring the dangers associated with processed foods can have far-reaching consequences, regardless of where we live. Remember, 
ignoring the dangers associated with processed foods can have far-reaching consequences, regardless of where we live. Stay away! Top 7 Worst Foods That Cause Fatty Liver and Block Arteries Welcome back, health enthusiasts, to Vitality Solutions, your go-to channel for holistic well-being. Today, we've got a crucial message that could be a game-changer for your health. In this eye-opening video, we'll be unveiling the top 7 worst foods that not only wreak havoc on your liver but also pose a serious threat to your cardiovascular health by blocking arteries. So, buckle up and get ready to discover the alarming culprits that could be hiding in your daily diet, sabotaging your vitality. Stay tuned as we delve into the nitty-gritty of these dietary villains, revealing why they're causing fatty liver issues and contributing to artery blockages. Remember, your health is your wealth, and with Vitality Solutions, we're here to empower you with the knowledge you need for a healthier and happier life. Don't miss out on the insights that could reshape your approach to nutrition. Let's kickstart this journey to optimal well-being together. 1. Processed Foods Processed foods, a ubiquitous presence in modern diets, wield a profound and deleterious impact on our health, contributing significantly to the dual challenges of fatty liver disease and arterial blockages. To begin with, processed foods are often laden with unhealthy fats, particularly trans fats and saturated fats. Scientific studies have established a direct link between the consumption of these fats and the development of fatty liver disease. The excessive intake of processed foods contributes to an imbalance in lipid metabolism, fostering fat accumulation in the liver cells and paving the way for inflammation and liver dysfunction. In addition to promoting fatty liver disease, processed foods are culprits in the creation of arterial blockages. High levels of salt, sugars, and refined carbohydrates found in these processed items contribute to weight gain, insulin resistance, and inflammation, all factors that play a pivotal role in the formation of atherosclerosis. The refined carbohydrates, often in the form of sugars and white flour, lead to spikes in blood sugar levels, prompting the release of insulin, which, when chronically elevated, can contribute to arterial plaque buildup. Furthermore, the excessive presence of sodium in processed foods is associated with elevated blood pressure, a key risk factor for arterial blockages. Studies demonstrate a clear correlation between high sodium intake and hypertension, reinforcing the importance of reducing processed food consumption for cardiovascular health. The scientific consensus on the harmful effects of processed foods extends beyond their nutritional content. Additives, preservatives, and other chemicals used in food processing may also have indirect consequences on liver health and cardiovascular function, though more research is needed in this area. 2. Sugary Foods and Beverages Firstly, the consumption of high levels of added sugars has been strongly linked to the development of fatty liver disease. The liver metabolizes fructose, a common component of added sugars, and excess fructose can overwhelm the liver's capacity to process it. This metabolic overload results in the accumulation of fat in the liver cells, leading to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a growing health concern, is characterized by liver inflammation and can progress to more severe conditions if left unchecked. Furthermore, the impact of sugary foods and beverages extends its reach to our arteries, contributing to the formation of arterial blockages. High sugar intake has been associated with increased triglyceride levels, a type of fat in the blood. Elevated triglycerides can contribute to atherosclerosis, where fatty deposits accumulate on the arterial walls, narrowing the blood vessels and impeding blood flow. This process is a key contributor to the development of cardiovascular diseases, including coronary artery disease. The scientific community underscores the role of added sugars in promoting inflammation and oxidative stress within the body, both of which are pivotal factors in the progression of fatty liver disease and arterial blockages. Moreover, excessive sugar consumption has been linked to insulin resistance, a condition that can further exacerbate the risk of cardiovascular issues. 3. Trans fats Consuming foods rich in trans fats poses a grave threat 